This is Bookie's Place. Welcome to Bookie's Place. You know what we talk about. We don't talk about the awards and the wins and the accolades. We talk about the grit and the grind. We bring your favorite people. Today I have in the house the legendary trendsetter, Terry G. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Terry G. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Long, so long, time, man. long yeah, time. It's been a while. It's been a long I time. know. Trust me, I know. You're looking I know. So amazing. You're looking beautiful as you used to be, though. Oh, thank you. It's the light. I have this special light that when it shines on my face, it changes me. <laughs> hey, that is divine. <laughs> we thank God. We thank God. We thank God. Thank God. Wow. Yeah. Listen, you know this is Bookie's place. I already gave you a brief intro. I'm going to tell you what we do. I want you to be extremely transparent. That's what we do here. Because if this is like therapy session for someone else going through the same thing you're going through, you know, or you've gone through. So we practically equip people with tools that they can use for their lives, you know, for their daily living. It's about ordinary people in their ordinary lives doing extraordinary things and so we bring people like you to share your journey so that they can see that if Terry went through that I have no excuse I will right. get up right. and do it um, so when right. I shut up and shut up you're going to start from the beginning your journey where you were born and then we'll flow with your tide anywhere you go we go all right all right okay to be precise um by God's grace uh, let's put it this way I was I was born from a god frame background a Christian background uh, family of four. Uh, by God's grace, I, ha I happen to be the first in the family mm -hmm. of two boys and two girls. Mm -hmm. Yes, and at a particular time in my career, yes. <laughs> you see, uh, luckily for me, and you know, those times in our life, you know, we actually see it as oh, you do, you like I had to go to church from Mondays to Sundays because my mom was a deaconess and also a choir mistress. And as a choir mistress, as and as her position take B, she was a position to me. But I had to go into church with her, you know, cleaning the church, the welfare departments, prayer warrior departments. I partook in all those departments because my mom also did. So I experienced all those things that which is helping me now. But then it was quite stressful for me. You know, mm. she, I'm not a wizard, I'm not anything. But trust me, the God fearing part of this life is what is keeping me going because the, the industry and everything is so astray right now that if you don't keep if you don't believe and if you're not strong, you just follow the trend and get lost. But thank God that those things has helped me to guide myself to the fact that I met though yeah, of course, um I love them partition boys. I've loved them from time and uh, two-face has always been my dream i've always wanted to meet two face and despite the fact that we are both from the same states you know as an elder brother and an icon it was a big dream for me to meet him and there was a particular time where i used to though i played the instruments in church you know let's forget about that you know, i've served god you know i served god but um there was a particular time when i wanted to now further my career and I decided to go to where was popping at that moment, which was first stack. You know, first stack might be the lucky of those times for that for the industry yeah. there. Yeah. You know, and I wanted to meet Two Face. So and uh, I went to um, there's a place they call Apple Junction. You know that that's one runabout that all those celebrities must pass. So they say if I if I did this, I go see Two Face. I'm gonna I did the most from most Bridge three days. You know, so my family meets it, Baba. I'm on, all the money where I keep for hours. All the boys then collect her. Nobody said they collect her for me by force, but I spend them. Um, when you know, say when you don't get money for streets, they go tell you, say, yeah, no be your house, guy, move. You know, so wow. then I had, I didn't actually meet. I didn't see two faces, not to talk of even meeting him. I had to go back to my house. So um, by God's grace, I still that on that effort because yeah, that was my dream. Trust me, two face, two face is an icon, and two face was the introduction to the game of now whether you like it or not you know so uh me i want me to face you know 
I wanted I wanted to serve him. You know, we Benue people were born to serve. Trust me, Two Face. That's why Two Face will be loyal till he dies. You know, trust me, loyal people. That's how we, that's why we are. I actually wanted to serve, which I actually met Face on the long run through um, Sholani Mashan. Sholani Mashan. Um, that's um, Ayoni Mashan, his Ayo. younger brother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, Naso Baba helped me. You know, Baba helped me. I went to face. It's a long story, but face. Um, I played my single for face. Then I I just deviated into cautious music because I was a gospel musician. But deviating to cautious music and I'm trying to blend with the secular people doesn't mean that I will sing the baby baby thing. So I I used to sing songs about love, like what love love is about caring. It's not the kind of love that you used to sing now, you know. So <laughs> that was how I met my daddy face alone ah that man is so humble you know he's coming on monday he's oh. my guest on monday thank god thank god you see that man here eh? ah and john Ula. trust me man see apart from fame and he taught me a lot you know not be by teaching teaching talent see some people that's why the industry is astray right now you you are talented but you don't know what they call leadership. It's not talent. See, you having boys, gathering all those boys, you guys will still betray yourself. You don't understand what leadership is. See, for me to be here, and I've not signed any artist, but I prefer to sow my seed in an artist and go and yield fruits and help other people. Do you think I'm a fool? They won't hear any competition. They are doing competition of building boys. You guys will still fight. When I go still open my yash and waiting for the day. That is normal. I don't wish anybody bad. You don't understand? But the fact is that I learned from the right source and I'm very lucky. I am grateful to God and I am proud of it. I can ginger about it. You know, Face is a very humble man. A man that accommodated two dancers, females, two dancers, male, twins, me, I'm ready. Um, me, I'll be back up. He accommodated um, AZ, that's his PA, and his <laughs> manager, eight people. You know, you're right. How many of you celebrities can do that with the power and fame that you have? You can't even accommodate somebody with the big house that you have. Cobweb is full in your house, but you know, that's, that's how it is. Even if still, most of them still learn from humble men, you know, but maybe everybody will learn from a person and they follow the guidance of the person. But, you know, Faisal actually taught me how to be humble because he actually managed the time when the split occurred, which I was, I'm grateful to God. I was, I think I'm, I, they are aware, you know, I was actually his backup then, you know. He's a very laid back person. See, when the storm is there, if you like, fight for safety. I'm a by any bit over. But you know, when you're mm -hmm. just careful, I think if God wants you to be alive, you'll be alive. See, you know, living by God's grace is different from struggling. And I, I, I would just to struggle, you know. I prefer to do my thing. And, of course, you know, because I know there is power in grace, I know that I have my space. Yes. So I would never compete or hate anybody's endeavor. Because now, me now, I know the scripture. I know that, yeah, he that is in me is greater. So now he has given me uniqueness. All I need to do is to evolve in my uniqueness and carry on the gospel because it's not only me that is sent to preach that gospel so now why would i hit on anybody's endeavor do you understand so that is what's been keeping me going i keep celebrating people you know i might actually portray a different image which people see me like ah crazy intellectual ginger ginger swaga swaga trust me i'm god fearing trust me and he's the one that is keeping me going you know um and that is how i'm still here let's break it down Wow. Wow. Amazing. See, let me tell you an experience that stayed with me forever. I came into a show in Lagos. I can't remember what show. I think Jedi or something. And then I just saw you playing. Wow. You know, really everybody good. said, Terry G's in the building. Terry G's in the building. And then you got on the keyboard. And I think you played Jesus Loves Me or something. I can't remember. You just played something so beautiful. And everybody just went, huh? You know, because everybody wanted you to think, you know, like, for oh, now or something, you know, but you just went and you just played that. And since then, my perspective of you has changed. Alexa, Alexa boss. boss. 
<laughs> she has oh, a man of her own. She goes out there do everything where he wants. Trust me. Well, no be swatting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I want you to tell us how you transitioned from being Phases Backup into your own brand. Okay. Um. Wow. I've never been asked this kind of question, or probably it's never been put this way before. Well, how did I transform? You don't see yourself transforming. It's a process. I kept, serving, I kept serving him. I kept producing people like Two Shots, and I was still working for Face while I did um, stuff with Two Shots. You know that collaboration. Yeah, yeah. How are you, my friend? You know, um, when God gives you the hits, by that time you did discover yourself. Oh, you know, mm -hmm. you cannot. Who are you to say you are going to the next level when God has not put you there? You know, so mm -hmm. all those things started coming together before I started taking decisions for myself. So even till now, I'm still on that phase. You know, because he has not graduated me. He did not do graduation <laughs> for me. You know that, I'm still working <laughs> under him. You know, trust me, if not, so it be. <laughs> yeah. Wow. 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 So the, the Terry G brand, was it a deliberate concept or you just jumped into it without knowing? Yeah, it was, it was deliberate. God forbid. Along with someone, <laughs> and he, along with someone anyway, you know, Jesu. You know, trust me, it's a, it's a garment. It's a garment. Even the pastors we believe in through Christ. These people wear garments. They are also controlled by spirits. When they are on, your, when they are on their own, they are normal. That is why they can share too. You know, so um, let's cut this short. The song Free Man is actually blew by God's grace. Nobody, no human being on the planet Earth will decide we just chill and do a freestyle like that. That song is a nonsense song. You know, I actually did this nonsense song and I said it. You know, testing my microphone name, it was just a pre-record of testing my presets for an artist I wanted to record for. That was wow. how it leaked by um, his soul rest in peace, DJ Mickey B. You know, mm -hmm. that was how the song leaked. And people now started demanding for such attitude. Hey, let's me the way you do that. <laughs> so I now started doing things by popular demand. Trust me, I can do chromatic scale. My sister is a good musician. We're all good musicians. But... Now, you guys will not give me a chance. Anytime I drop R&B music, you guys will not give listening ears to it because you already see me as a crazy guy. You know, so, and now, this is what put food on my table. I got to do it. So, I'm going to go out there. Wow. wow. You said your mom was a deaconess and your parents were Christians. What was their reaction to the brand? <laughs> yeah, well, it was no, it was a no. Don't forget, I was I was a gospel musician. I remember we played gospel music, man. She tell her, do you get? So I only I only backslid it just because I wanted I wanted more for the family. You know, I, I I'm, I'm the firstborn in my family, and nobody nobody will wear the shoes that you wear. Do you understand? And God has given you that power is in your hands. I'm I'm an instrumentalist. There was a particular time. We got to a time in all the churches I played. I mean, there's no church I've not played for. You understand? But how many of them helped me? How many of them helped me? You understand? But they would pray for me, and I believe I'm a prophet as well now. I know the power. I know what is in my tongue now. But how many of them? You will keep encouraging, encouraging. How many of these youth you people encourage, and they now go into the world, and you now start saying all oh, rubbish? You understand? Because I know God. I know He gave me the grace. I can do. I can do. I can undo something and feed my family, and He will understand. Now you want human being now you dare you be there and be encouraging me. What kind of encouragement is that? This is the same human beings that make all these youth backslide in the name of pastors. We are all pastors, we are all prophets, only if you don't believe in God. So what are we saying? You know? So mama and I saw we see Amo. Wow. That was emotionally delivered. It must be something really, really you know, dear to your heart. Okay, so what do you what do you want to tell the pastors? What do you want to tell the pastors now about this new generation? What can they do? I'm not talking. I'm not sending any message to any pastor because okay. um, we are all we are all prophets. We are created in His image, and mm. the only person you can report any problem you have is to God. And any messenger of God, of course, we have messengers of God, which we are. Any messenger of God that will. 
confuse you to be to be to be hungry all in the name of whatever whatever i don't know because we have different formats to to confuse you to be hungry you're on your own you will face judgment you said you will face judgment because it's not mm -hmm. to the pastors because you cannot send any message to the man of god don't forget don't whatever the anointed that shall not yeah. mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. understand but still <laughs> and you know uncle our uncle our uncle mm. wow wow mm, 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 mm. terry yes ma there was a time you disappeared what happened why did you disappear you just went into hibernation <laughs> well by god's grace um I had to go into business, you know, and the kind of business I do uh, took a lot of my time. You know, I'm into water, and um, Babalo Mini Me, you know, I have a factory and which is doing very well. It took me some time to put it all together and understand it, you know, because it's a daily income of a thing, you know. So uh, it took me some time before I understood this and that it's a business that um as a musician i'm not usually there all the time so after understanding how the rules for sachet and bottled waters because i've got a couple of trucks and by god's grace if you guys want to invest whoever wants to invest in territory water is welcome because it's the best sold water on the mainland and we could also spread the tentacles so that's by and i had to now hand over it to my my baby mama which is doing quite well you know uh so that's it basically and i'm back now you know the, the music industry right now it's about funds trust me if you don't have money and if you have talent terry g says so please go back to your house go back to your mommy's house and go finish your school <laughs> Alexa, <do> you... <laughs> yeah, so, man, wow this network is so glitchy it's okay it's you know, okay we'll get to it, it. Of it you know I'm yeah it's so okay. far from home so let's make oh, the best okay. out of it, okay? Bookie. It's okay. I'm going to let you go soon because of your network, but I, you know what we do in Bookie's Place? We practically equip people. So I want you to tell us a time that you you wanted to give up and you cried and you thought that, you know what, I'm done with this. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. <laughs> no, no way. No way. No way. There was a particular time in my life God would bless my father. If it wasn't for my father, I wouldn't have been a role model to all of you stubborn children right now that you need to calm down. Because I will tell you the reason why you need to calm down. Listen to me. There was a particular time when I used to be flogged with nepa wire. One of my father, Similoju, Idi, Ati, Ibe, One of my Leko. Neighbors go, they cry. Baba Gebre, Baba Gebre, I feel like, uh, I cried. There was a particular time in my life I used to cry. Water doesn't, doesn't used to come out of my eyes. That was how stubborn I used to be. My father trained me. I don't need to go to boarding school. So you guys going to boarding school, you are not stubborn. You are just going to have fun there. Do you understand? What I'm trying to say is, at the end of the day, you see this life, if you came to give up, you better start giving up. <laughs> Terry, you are a very passionate person and it's obvious, it's obvious. <laughs> Alexa, pause. Alexa, pause. Ah, move on, one coy. Oh, really? Oh, my God, this is that one. Man, I wish you were at home. This would have been so, so, so great because I know you have a lot to say. How do you oversee your business in Lagos? How do I receive? Um, you know, I'm always in Lagos. Um, even if I reside in Lekki, I'm always in Lagos. I'm only locked down uh, because I was in my tour, my Europe tour, when this, when this um, pandemic situation started. And I had to just, since my family reside here in the UK, look on the inside branch. Yeah, can you hear me now? Yeah, so, you said on the inside branch. I decided yeah. to just um, branch by, just uh, chill with them, and which I'm actually enjoying. I've never spent this kind of time with my family. 
you know, which is so amazing to me. And uh, uh, I'm having a nice time. I'm getting to do one or two connects to my music as well in the UK. Because mm -hmm. normally, if we come to the UK, we won't spend this much time because we got, got we got stuff to do in Nigeria. So it's helping me in so many ways. Trust me, man, I've got a lot of stuff coming out. Uh, I've got a lot of plans, which if to say I know they this UK for no work for me. It's well, everything is going on fine. All Terrage is fine, trust me, man. I'm coming up with stuff that you guys might probably be confused with. You know, trust me, I'm a musician. I'm a musician and I want to I want to be given the opportunity to express myself. Trust me, I'm very versatile. I'm an instrumentalist. You guys have not seen 10% of what I can do. So please, I would not pay attention to criticism because I know you guys would want me to do the same rubbish I do. I don't care. I just want to do good music because yes, I'm 34 years old and before I'm 40 years old, I want to add those kind of those good music to the kind of nonsense music I've created over years to corrupt all the nonsense musicians in this industry right now. God bless. Let's All go. right. We are not All right. Go. Hey. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thank Everybody say right. hi here. Yeah, my friends are saying hi. Hi. You guys, listen. You guys are the ones that didn't let him do my interview. I will find you. I will find all of you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Bookie, thank you.